All right, welcome back to Gospel Diaries. Now that is what you call impromptu. <laughs> I mean, and then Bishop Roberts, the le first of all, the legendary yes. Bishop Larry Roberts, uh, just walks in and just you know, just I don't know, just does yeah. what he does best. But back to you, Brother Calvin Rogers. So we must talk about your touring. Yeah. Talk about touring. How is touring? Man, it's it's this has been a it's it's been a life learning experience. I'm I'm glad I've I was able to get out and see the world. I'm glad I've been afforded a gift that has allowed me to do that. Um, you know, I learned and seen a lot, some good, some bad. I worked with some good artists, some bad ones, you know, um, but uh, I've, I've had a great time, man. It's, it's, it's been amazing, you know, and- Where have you been? <laughs> where haven't I been? Where have you been, yeah, brother? Yeah, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've been to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've been five continents. Mm -hmm. So I've been in Europe. Uh, um, only one I haven't been, I haven't been to, to Asia yet. Mm -hmm. So, but I've been in South America. Of course, I've been to uh, Africa, um, and so, um, and now um, um, I'm getting ready to go. I've been to Africa. I don't know how many times, six no. or seven times. No, no, what is it? It's, it's called two the, weeks. It's, yes, it's the experience. Yeah. I believe I've, I've played at that event like three times. This, and man, the first year I went, just uh. The first year I went, it was really incredible because I was, they had a, it, it rained really bad. It rained really bad in the middle of the concert. It, I mean, I mean, when I say bad, it, I mean it rained bad. And then people didn't go nowhere. They was out there singing in the rain, in the mud. They just, no, we, they had to cut the power off, mm -hmm. you know, for the concert. Them people went out there and sang. They started singing their songs, our songs. Pastor Donnie went out there in the audience and just, like to have worship service mm -hmm. out in the rain. It was crazy. And, you know, it gives you a different appreciation in life. You know, traveling abroad definitely also, you know, affords you the opportunity for one to see how spoiled we are yeah. over here. Also gives you a greater appreciation for faith, for church. Some of these places I have been in, they cannot just willingly at any point in time walk into a building and have church, mm -hmm. you know, some of them have to hide their faith. Some of them have to hide their Bibles. Wow. Some of them got to, you know, they they can only have church once a month. You know what I'm saying? They can't. So, I mean, and here we are. We can go in church. It's a church somewhere. It's You can go to church any time, any day <laughs> of the week. Mm -hmm. Here in Chicago, somebody got church going on. And you and, ain't got to go to jail. And you ain't got to go to jail for it. Or, or, <laughs> or, 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 or be, take the, the risk of being executed in prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So man, I mean, Just it was worship. yeah, yeah. And I mean, seeing a guy, seeing a, people walk, and they walking for miles. I saw kids. I was in Africa the first time I went to South South Africa. I saw the kids. I, I saw a line of kids walking all to the concert that we were going to. They wow. were walking, and they were walking miles. And I'm like, by the time I got there, I was like, where we came from, they was walking from there. So I mean, or seeing people that live. In, in huts and share bathrooms. They got to share bathrooms with, you know, 20 or 40, 50 other people. And then seeing them in a church service worshiping, like they got a house on a hill. You know what I'm saying? They they praising God like they got everything in the world. And I'm like, here we are. We got clothes on our back. We don't worry about it. We, we, my bishop say, we eat what we want to eat when we want to eat it. I go get me a steak whenever I get to take, whenever I get a taste for one. And you know, them people, some of them don't know where their next meal gonna come from. Jesus. But then you see them, they go to when they go to church, man, they shout and praise God like nobody's been like you wanna understand. It gives you a, definitely gives you a different appreciation, uh, a, a spirit of gratitude, spirit of being persecuted for their beliefs. So uh, but it's but but touring has has definitely done that, man. And 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 this is the biggest thing for me. I say to people all the time, musicians all the time, at one point I was running to a lot of musicians who were who were, who were throwing away the church, kind of dogging the church out, you know, saying, oh, man, don't don't label me as no church musician. I ain't no church drummer, no church keyboard player. Wow. And I was going, but bro, you don't, you you haven't played anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You ain't been to school. You don't have no degree. So everything you know is from the church. Mm -hmm. And you making tons of money. Some of us are making tens of thousands of dollars a week from what we learned in the church. Mm -hmm. Thank God for a, a, a Bishop Larry Roberts and a Doris Evelyn Davis and a, and a, and a Bishop uh, Bishop Elgin Little, a Bishop uh, uh, Bishop Larry Trotter, who, 
who extends their platforms and then gives us life training. When I was growing up at, 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 at Trinity and, 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 and God's House of All Nations, they regularly had programs to encourage us to activate our gifts, to grow our gifts. So we all had groups. Remember Zach and them had a, a singing group at, at Trinity, at, at uh, God's House of All Nations? Kevin Vassar, Youth Edition, that came out of God's House of All Nations. It, you, the name of the group used to be Kids of People Too at first. And then they changed it to Youth Edition instead of New Edition, Youth Edition. But uh, they all learned that they learned how to how to really tap into their gift, how to activate it, how to use it. And we learned how to and, and we really learned how to activate our anointing. We found out what our calling was and how to walk in it, how to talk in it, how to move in it. My aspirations as a young man was really just it went from being able to move out of my parents' house mm -hmm. to if I can just have a, a apartment with some drums and a bed mm -hmm. a, on the floor, a mattress on the floor, <laughs> I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that that was really that was really the that was the most I hoped for, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and God has done some I'm a I'm a black man mm -hmm. in my forties. Mm -hmm. I got my right mind, mm -hmm. I ain't in jail, mm -hmm. I ain't no no drugs. Mm -hmm. I got a family, I got a wife, I got kids, I got a son that's graduated school, I'm a homeowner. You know, and I've done that with all with skills that I gained and got it and, and cultivated mm -hmm. in the church. Thank mm -hmm. God for great parents mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and thank God for the community around them. Mm -hmm. Thank God for my Uncle Larry, mm -hmm. who also would pull my tail, mm -hmm. pull my coattail mm -hmm. when my when my mom and dad wasn't there. Thank God for a Betty, a mama Betty Lot, who would pull my coattail when my mama and daddy mm -hmm. wasn't there. Thank mm -hmm. God for, you know, a, a, a Sammy Foster, mm -hmm. my best friend, Kevin Foster, mm -hmm. my, who would come and get me and say, no, 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 don't, don't you do that. You know, thank God for, you know, and even my brothers, uh, uh, Zachary Love, who mm -hmm. would see me hanging out on the corners mm -hmm. at high school with the wrong guys and make and get me, hey, get my car right now, mm -hmm. get my car right now. Mm -hmm. Get my car. Don't you? You don't need to be with those guys. Mm -hmm. So not only I, I, I would have done, I, mm -hmm. I could have made some of those mm -hmm. dumb decisions. And, and let's be let's be politically correct. Yeah. Okay. But like you're saying, God's grace God's and His grace. mercy has kept you alive. We are all standing on your shoulders, man. You have inspired generations. Well, oh, man, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> One of the things I knew I wanted to do was I knew I wanted to leave a legacy, mm -hmm. and I, and I this like. The way I was introduced to music, uh, I remember I used to sit in front of my dad's record player on 85th and Green. He had a humongous record collection, and every Saturday I'd go through records and just put them on, and I would listen to records. And at some point, I realized, I'm like, I want this to be my legacy because mm -hmm. I was listening to that music and realizing I was being impacted and influenced by mm -hmm. people who I had no idea. They had no mm -hmm. idea who I was. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what they, they didn't know how they were making me feel. And I knew I wanted to do that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and so I was, I just was like, I want to leave something mm -hmm. and, and touring and being on the road is great. But the, the, but the recordings that I've been able to do and, and, and the songs that I've been able to be a part of, that's my legacy. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know what they're going to be doing 20, 30 years from now. They oh, won't be looking on, they can, they, they, they like this iPhone, you're going to show somebody that iPhone. They're going to be like, what is that? Well, I just had, I, and I enjoyed myself. And then you had the nurse to bring your, Amazing <laughs> mother, dude. Like, I don't know. It just don't get no better than that, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Listen, I, like I said, man. I'm, I'm a product of my environment. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been fortunate and blessed to be connected to so many wonderful people and have so many people push me. Mm -hmm. And just as trying to be a good steward over what they gave me, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying I, I want to do that. What well, my parents left, the legacy that my dad left mm -hmm. me. The legacy that James, uh, my, my brother James left mm -hmm. me, the legacy of Bishop Trotter, the legacy of all these people, man. Wow, you can still do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the church ain't dead, man. Yeah. The church ain't dead. And so, nah. okay, what you're dealing with? Because I done dealt with some stuff. Yeah. I had some stuff that I thought I was never going to be able to let go of. And God healed me from it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, I've, and I've, I, know, I know the power of prayer. I know the power of prayer. And I know the healing power of God. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know... Uh, Uncle Larry, you and my mom sitting here. Reverend Davis laid her hands on me when I was a baby. I had a a a, 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 a Hirsch, 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 Hirsch Prohn's, which was a, basically a, a disease that attacked my my um my uh, digestive system, and they were going they they were going to operate on me and everything, man, and said you know I, I was going to have all these issues, and Reverend Davis laid her hands on me and made me she put put some drink blessed water. Blessed water. Blessed water. And the oil gave me some blessed water and some oil, and the doctors, the doctors, 
went in there and said, we don't know what happened, mm-hmm. but we ain't no surgery. There's not going to be no surgery. And so, uh, man, that, you know, and I remember that. I, rem- I, I don't remember that, but I, rem- I remember my, my parents telling me about that. And I remember that feeling of knowing that God can do whatever he wants, mm-hmm. man. And, and he, and the same God that healed blind Bartimaeus, gave him sight, oh, the one that, you know what I'm saying? So that's saying, man, he's, he's still in the healing business, man. We just got to activate our faith. Man. Man, so. And, you know, um, you know, I wanted this conversation. I like to call these conversations. This is definitely what it was. Yeah. I wanted this to be different. Like, I've watched interviews with you. And, of course, they, they get about the logistics of like, who you play for. And then, but it really doesn't cover the essence of you. You know what I mean? So I really wanted people to really understand who cap. See, sometimes... We allow people's gifts neglect that they're actually a human being, mm-hmm. that they actually have feelings. Like- There's something, man, because a lot of us, a lot of creatives, mm-hmm. deal with a little bit of hurt from yeah, that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because people take so take the gift mm-hmm. and they forget or dis they disregard mm-hmm. the individual. Mm-hmm. You know, and that could be you know that could be hurtful sometimes. You know, yeah. but but man, you know, to whom much is given, much require, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it comes, you, you take you take the good with the bad. Mm-hmm. The, again, man, thank God for the ones that are around you mm-hmm. that care. Mm-hmm. So the ones that don't, man, you know, so so what? But wow. God never God never leaves you out there. You ain't mm-hmm. never, you know what I'm saying? And man, I've, I've been entrusted with so much and I'm just really trying to make oh, good yes, on it. Oh, yes, you have. <laughs> and you know, that's the reason why I do this. You know, I've traveled around the country and I was just, Toss it with Sarah Joy Bow. I saw that you. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw. Uh, I was talking to Mr. Carson Yeah, Harrison too. I was there with him too. I mean, I've just been all over this week. But I'm telling you one thing, and I'm telling you the honest God truth. Like you were definitely in mind everywhere I've been this week. Wow. You were in mind. And how many times did I text you before? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we to make, sure, make sure I was man, coming. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like you there. And uh, on that note, as I always say, and I promise you, I really do mean this. Love on someone. And trust me, you will change the life. Yeah.